This video is brought to you by Jab.se, the lead supplier of MMA gear in Scandinavia. BetSafe.com, Europe's only online betting site for MMA. Sebastian Mino Martinez with MMA Net and Studio MMA. I'm here with Terry Etham, who takes on Rene Forte at the UFC London 2013. And so, tell us, Terry, how are you? I'm good, you know. Very good. Uh, obviously, looking forward to Saturday night and looking forward to get back in the octagon and get back to winning ways. Yeah, well, last time you were uh, you were in England, you uh, had a pretty spectacular win. Yeah. Uh, do you feel you can get some momentum going in uh, with a uh, hometown crowd? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's always a, a great thing to fight in front of the home crowd. So to be fighting in Wembley, it's such a big event, and you know, I'm uh, very privileged to be on the card, and I'm definitely going to come back and definitely going to battle winning ways, one million percent. Now your opponent, the Brazilian uh, Henry Forte. Um, he was on the Ultimate Fighter Brazil. Have you have you seen much of his fights? Yeah, I've seen one or two of his fights. I know he was on the Ultimate Fighter Brazil and he was fighting at middleweight. Then he's dropped down to welterweight in his last fight and now he's obviously going to try and drop down to lightweight, you know. So I'm expecting him to come and be strong at the weight, but I think I'm going to be too fast and too sharp and this fight's only going one way on Saturday night and that's going to be a win for me. So you feel like his size advantage might be a bit of a disadvantage? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm not expecting him to have a problem making the weight but obviously coming down from middleweight to lightweight you know it's a very big jump so we'll see are we actually coping in the fight where they losing that much weight is there anything special that you've trained on in order to prepare for taking on a larger opponent no, i mean i've just been working on my whole game as usual i think mma's evolved so much now i think you've got to be working non-stop and you've got to work so hard in your whole game and that's what i've been working on i think my speed and my skill set and and my mindset as well at the moment is what's going to win me this fight. Now, yeah, uh, your last fight, you came up short, unfortunately. Uh, up until that, it was it was pretty even. Um, it's often said that you can learn a lot from yeah. from your losses. Do you feel like you've done that? Yeah, of course. I mean, taking on away from Edson Barbosa and the knockout, he got knockout to you, you know, taking on away. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it. I think it was a very good knockout. And that's MMA for you, you know, a split second, anything can happen in a fight. And, you come with a good shot, but you know I'm going to bounce back under time stronger, and I'm going to come back with a win on Saturday night. I'm going to show all the fans out there that you know that's just one of them things, and it's going to be back to winning ways. Now you're you're headlining the FX portion of a card, and it's the card both underneath and on top is pretty. It seems to be pretty exciting. Are there any matches that you're looking forward to watching as a fan? Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to watching my two teammates fight, of course, Paul Sass and Andy Ogle. But uh, I think Barrow against McDonald's is going to be an awesome fight as well. You know, I wouldn't like to pick a winner because I think it's very close and I think it can go either way. But as a fan, because I am a very big fan of UFC as well, as well as being a fight for them, so I'm uh, looking forward to see that fight. Well, you say you can't pick a you can't pick a fighter between uh, Barrow and McDonald, but say you're forced now. Aliens have uh, a laser pistol to your head. You're saying you have to choose one. Who would you pick? Yeah, uh, Barrow. Barrow. All right. <laughs> you still think it's a close fight? I think it's a very very close fight. I mean, McDonald's a very very good fighter. Always brings it. So I really could see it going either way. But I go with Barrow. All right. Now. Should you get your hand raised on Saturday? In which way do you think you'll get it done? Uh, you know, 100% my hand is getting raised, and I can see it being with a nice knockout. Any prediction which round it'll be? I'm not too sure which round, but as long as it comes, I don't mind. Well, last time you had a quick finish, it was, uh, well, 17, was seconds. 17 seconds, yeah. Do you think you can top that? or? I mean, to be honest, I think that's going to be a little bit hard to top, but, you know, anything around that won't be bad. All right, we'll look forward to seeing what happens. Terry Edwin takes on Henry Forte on UFC London 2013. Thank you very much and good luck. Programmet presenteras av betsafe.com.